Hello there, I'm Colonel Failure and this is City Skylines. Uh, what I like to do when you're not around is I like to sit watching traffic behaving badly. There's no reason for this. Look, we've got two whole open lanes. Why are you all why are you all in the bad lane there? Interesting. I think what it what it probably is is it's the uh, the game logic saying that in the next section of oh here's a thought. Okay, here's the theory. The game logic says on this next section of road before the next junction, I want to be in this lane so that I can turn off. Right. So immediately after passing the previous junction, they try and get into the right lane for the next one. So what if? What if I were to do something like this? There we go. We've moved the junction. So the next junction is actually a little way up. Now, is that going to change anything? Possibly take a minute or two for people to start to think about actually changing their behaviour. Still got a car, truck merging... Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Hard to say. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, that, I mean, that, that was a hard to say. No, not hard to say. That wasn't it. Okay, good. Uh, right, so what have we got going on today? We've got demand for both uh, for residential and for commercial. So uh, we're, going to, uh, we're going to deal with that. And, uh, and we're going to deal with that now. Um... Last time around, we built uh, our industrial zone called the future, for it is the future, uh, and uh, and we, we we started getting that rolling. Uh, this time around, we're going to do something similar. Well, it's similar in terms of uh, the the ethos for the build, uh, but we're going to do that for uh, for for housing, and we're going to do that for uh, for commercial. Just a little bit. I want to get some workers over in this area so that the commute isn't too hellish. Uh, meanwhile, on the subject of hellish, look at this. It's a disaster. Love it. Um, but, you know, while I've got seven grand coming in a week, uh, they can live in their own squalor. I don't care. Uh, right. Okay. So, onwards, onwards, onwards. We're gonna do, we're gonna use pretty much exactly the same sort of idea here. And actually, if we were thinking about potentially uh, potentially hexagoning this, the hexagon being the name which I have now fixed. Incidentally, I have fixed the hexagon. The hexagon is the name for this particular interchange, which I find just a little bit more elegant than this one. It's a little bit more simplistic, but you know. Not for nothing is there a regularly, regularly used phrase, keep it simple, stupid. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's something I try to live by. Right, now, I don't want um, there to be too big a queue coming up to this junction here. Because that's an obvious bottleneck. So, we'll have uh, our one-way streets kind of peel off from here. There we go. In a nice, in a nice elegant straight line. That's what we want, uh, because you don't need traffic lights to uh, to, to leave. So if your uh, level crossing is not so much, huh? Okay. Do we want to go in parallel with the trains, or do we want to do something else? I think. Actually, let's go far enough so that uh, we can have zones on both sides of here. Yeah, you've gone too far there. And obviously because we're using one-way streets, we're going to need to make sure that... Uh, there we go. That. Yes. No. Overlap. Damn it. One further. One further. So instead of going to there, you want to go to there. And then turn the corner. And then you get exactly what you'd hoped for. 
Right, mash that all the way down. Look at that. See? That's just ice. Uh, right, I think we'll probably... We'll probably make this section two-way. Is that going to traffic light us here? Nope, it's not. Good. One-way streets, no traffic lights. Do the same here. Leaves a gap on either side. Nope. Yes. There we go. Quite happy to leave a double gap. I'll, I'll do something with that involving trees and parks and wildlife. Maybe. At some point. Right. That then needs to come round. Now, how bigger? That's okay. We can leave that. And it's quite a extensive block as blocks go. There we go. Except... Hold on. What have I done wrong here? That's a one-way street. This is our six-lane Uber section, which will uh, we'll expand that out. I didn't just say that was one way, did I? Buffoon. Six-lane Uber section, thank you. And then we've got two one-way streets running into each other, because I'm a rocket scientist. Okay, so, yes, those are both going to cause queues. I think that's somewhat inevitable. Uh, what's the other alternative? What else could we do that would avoid the queuing there? Maybe if we got rid of that and two-wayed this and did some kind of jaunty angle. No, nope, that's traffic lights still. What else could we do that wouldn't upset it? If this was one way, it wouldn't be a problem because that would just merge on. Well, why not do that, then? We could do that. We could... Yeah, we could... We could do that. Okay, it, that requires some thinking for the future. So maybe if we... Yeah, we'll leave it like this for now, and then at some point we'll... Uh, we'll turn this one way, and then maybe do some kind of one-way loop onto here. However, we, what we've got here is we've, we've got a nice a nice little section on which people can uh, can build. So let's zone this up because you know we do need some money. Let's uh, grab, let's turn that into office space, and the same here. No, not yet. Um, and we'll make this high density commercial. And then we'll make this high-density residential. All right, awesome. And then what I want to do is I want to get a train station on here somewhere, a passenger station. Further up the line, we'll put a goods station. See, everybody here is struggling to get enough workers, which means that this is going to be an abandoned pit of despair in the near future as well. Uh, not got enough water. Right, well, that's fairly easy to resolve. There you go. Why you would build on the section that hasn't got enough water when there are lots of sections that have got enough water is beyond me. Uh, let's take this one out here. Okay, and then, you know, once I've got this, this section kind of up and running, yet yeah, no one's got power. Yep, yeah, because I haven't run any power out to you yet. Give me a mo. I can only do one thing at a time. Yes, I could pause the game, but I'm not gonna, because I need the money coming in that the, uh, the mountain of fools who, uh, who have chosen to live here represent. And then, let's bang that out there. And actually, to help this one, well, is that... No, that's not going to help, is it? Let's take a... Let's just do that. Okay, that's, you know, fairly clumsy building, but it'll do. Okay, right. Uh, crematorium's available to build, so we can now burn the dead, uh, rather than just... Uh, have them hanging around in a decorative fashion. Uh, we got room there? Yeah, we got room there. Can you go across the highway by any chance? What if I did something, you know... No? Okay. 
uh, well, in that case, let's come across from what what we have already really got powered. There we are. That should make everybody happy. Is everybody happy now? There we go. Plenty of high residential, high density stuff going on. Now, what we've what we have omitted to do here is we don't have a connection for this kind of housing section to get to the jobs. Now, we could extend our six-lane effort down here, but that's... We want them on the, on the freeway, really, don't we? So, what's going to be the best way to do that? We want to keep a junction here. Now, if I were to stick... Just, you know, hypothetically, if I stuck that in there, are we traffic lighting? We surely are. And that's going to cause bedlam. So, let's not do that. We want to go up and over. That's what we want to do. So, here's the bit that we were talking about going one way. Oh, that's that's going to work nicely. Yes, all right, good. We can do that now. So if I one-way this over here, uh, let's do it. Let's do it about there. All right, and then let's take her up a level, up and over. Come on, don't give me any, don't give me any jip here. And then back down. No. Oh, it needs to go just a little bit further. Come on, this was looking this was looking like a like a killer scheme. There we go. Right. Yep, yep, enough of that. How are we looking? Right, so one way, all the way around. No traffic lights? There's traffic lights. Why are there traffic lights? That's a very straightforward one-way merger. I don't want traffic lights. Not on that bit, anyway. Okay, maybe we turn this into a slip road uh, and hope it doesn't look too hideous when we do so. Okay, well, that's going to cause... Well, it depends how much traffic is using it, I guess. But that could cause some... Uh, some fun times. Right, let's uh, do what we said we were going to here and uh, get that hooked up. There we go. So that's one way now, all the way down there. It doesn't help. No, this is still traffic lights all over the shop. But it, it might help. Hello, that's on fire. Uh, you know how we can fix that? We need a fire engine out in this kind of uh, area anyway. So uh, so let's bang one in, shall we? Uh, where's a good place? Let's pause while we think about this so that the building doesn't, you know, burn to the ground while we're still thinking about it. So I want it to, to hook up with the future. Something over here, maybe? Okay, right, well, I think we want to two-lane this. Uh, two-direction. There we go. Yep, that's fun. And then uh, we'll stick a fire department. Let's have a look at the coverage. Right about here. No, it's not really covering enough of the industrial for my liking. We'll stick it in there, but I'm not pleased. Um, what I'll what I probably want to do there is use a uh, a mega bucks sixty grand fire station on that one uh, just to get that working. Actually, that's going to need uh, water. Uh, that's the electricity button there. Uh, so let's. Uh, what did you just do? That was working. No, that's a wind turbine. My good, what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, destroy it. 
It doesn't even look like a pylon. You fool. Right, so you've got power. You're also going to need water, which you've got. Okay. Yeah. All right, ignore that. That was, you know, stupid. Right, now, hopefully, if they're all celebrating the green energy I just deleted. Terrific. And any second now, we're going to have fire engines tearing out of here, going to the house that's burning down. Any second. It's going to happen. Anytime soon. I can feel it in my water. Fire engines going to the rescue. No? Well, so much for that as a solution. Alright, what have we got going on here? You've come all the way from the other side of town. That's 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 mighty eager of you. Uh, you might want to get a move on. You know, we've got the towering inferno going on here. Where is Steve McQueen? Steve? Get on your motorbike. Come on. Chop, chop. There's not a lot of it left. Quite a lot of people losing their known claims bonus. Don't go in there, woman! Oh, well. Evidently she left a puppy or something inside there and was desperate to get it back out. You got this... You, have you got that under control, do you think? Alright, I'm going to leave this to develop for a mo. Uh, and... Uh, Go on a go on a, a tour of tour of clear up. All these guys will need more more workers. And I can't offer tax relief to industry, which just surprises me insanely. I don't know why that might be. Right, okay, that's cleared that up. Meanwhile, over here in Squatter's Paradise. Hard to know which one is actually uh, in need of Uncle Bulldozer. Right, as soon as I think that's my next objective, as soon as I've got the cash, is to get the crematorium built. That building has burned down. There we go. Fix that. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And you. Yeah. And you. So, uh, yeah, a couple of you have mentioned uh, the uh, the auto bulldozer mod. Um, yes, it's a good idea because this is a pain in the backside, but. Uh, by auto bulldozing stuff, you don't get a, a feel for just how many empty properties you uh, you have going on. Right, there's a lot of dead bodies need picking up. I'm going to get that fixed pronto. Because I think, based on the fact that our population is shrinking, it's actually causing people to move out. What are you? You're an incinerator. Uh, where? I would have thought it would be under health. Oh, it is. Smashing. Right. Burn them. Oh, I don't want to live next to an incinerator. Give me a give me a bit of road here. I don't need much, just a little. There we go. That's good. And then uh, where are we? Health. Torchy, torchy. There we go. So hopefully that will uh, that will resolve uh, the uh, the corpse pile up issue that we're currently encountering. Um, factories, you know, why do I like factories so much? Because they don't care. They don't give a monkeys what you stick next to them. They are pretty happy to be next to, you know, power plants or uh, mortuaries or just about anything. Uh, let's get off the health menu so I can see what we've got going on here.
Okay, we are a shrinking burg. That's okay. We'll, uh, you know, we'll cope. We'll adapt. We'll overcome. Things will improve. I need to sort out rubbish as well. See, I was quite happy to let these guys just suffer uh, while they were happily growing and building in taxes. But uh, but now they're all griping the entire time, and there's death and, and disease and uh, and bins that need resolving. Uh, they're not making me as much money. At which point we swoop into action. This is me swooping. Holy cow. And, yeah, I mean, here this is the scale of the problem. All right, we've managed to get the uh, the fall off in people uh, leaving the city. We're getting that down a little bit. 43 leaving a week now. Don't move out. We're torching the bodies now. All right, let's sort out the uh, garbage collection, shall we? I can't afford another incinerator. It's 30 grand, all right? I'll hang on for that. Because, frankly, if I can get a bit more power at the same time, that's a good thing. And you know what? This, this, this is going to be incineration central here. We've got bodies being torched in one bit, and then over the road, we will have rubbish being torched. And hopefully, that'll make everybody cheer up. That's my plan. There we go. There, there, there. Not quite enough money. Enough money. Right, 24 quid left. That's not a lot, is it? Meanwhile, back on bulldozer duty. Stop moving out, you punks. I'm sorting the bins. Yeah, stop. Just stop it. I, I will turn that tooltip off pronto. Right, let's have a look and see how we're doing over here. See, look, everybody's kind of gone like, oh, no, I'm going for the new sexy, uh, the, the new hotness here. A thriving metropolis, ready to... Uh, why are you all abandoned? Does nobody do market research? Do they not go like, you know what, I'm going to set myself up a textile factory right next to the five other textile factories. Because clearly there's a lot of need for textiles. Right, they all need workers. You people are workers. Work here. Work here. Just a thought. Uh, I guess that one did burn to the ground after all. Look, I've laid you on a road. It's a nice road. Look, they're even almost using the traffic sensor, the, 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 the layout sensibly here. Check this out. Look at that. No major queues. Hot dog trucks galore. It's like a red carnival going on down there. Meanwhile, idiots still changing lanes for no reasons over here. Terrific. Uh-oh, a building has burned down. Ah, whatever. So, yeah, I need to fix this. Uh, I need to fix all of this. Traffic area. What? What's going on? Let's call up a quick overlay here to, to round out the day. Because uh, clearly things are spiralling out beyond my control a little. Garbage. I don't need the tool tip, thank you. Right, what have we got going on? Landfill storage. We're, we're at max storage. Garbage production. The incinerator's capacity. We are producing more garbage than I can deal with. And we're bringing in no money. Okay, that's, uh, that's a problem, isn't it? What can we do with this? Empty building to another facility. That's not going to help. Uh, open the budget panel. Right. Uh, let's have a quick look at power. 
consumption 157 right okay let's decrease our uh, our power budget budget please take you back down to a hundred that should save me some bucks water we can probably try take down a certain amount let's take it to 120 uh, trash dealing with let's ramp that uh, fire services well they're, they're hopeless uh, let's drop the police coverage just a smidge and education coverage as well what's that doing for my weekly 600 odd now Um, okay, what else have we got going on? I mean, I could I could cut education. That would save me a bunch of cash. Let's have a quick look at the power situation again, now that I've cut that. Still producing more than we need. Good. Water. Dealing with more than I need. Good. Garbage. Come on, incinerator. Burn more stuff. How much is a regular landfill site? 4K. All right. I can have another one of those in in a week. In two weeks. And we just need to take the pressure off, just briefly, to get people moving back in again. Uh, you know, I burned through my cash pretty quickly. There are abandoned buildings everywhere, you're not wrong. And people are getting sick. Oh, for God's sake. That's what happens when you grow too fast. You know, I, I was looking at everything being hunky dory and. If you're not going to stay in the house, don't build it in the first place. Unless you're paying me money to do so. Oops. Oh well. Made them homeless. There's plenty of other houses to choose from, though. Some of them are nice. What have we got? We are we are just slightly growing the population at the moment. That's you know, that's not not reason to celebrate, but uh, it's reason to maybe just relax a little. I look forward to the time I will let you know, wrecking ball, where I can just uh, just bulldoze the lot of you. Yeah, bunch of wingers. Uh-oh, a building has burned down. Well, it saves me having to bulldoze the thing, I suppose. Now I've got to bulldoze the thing. Honestly, the bank is going to say, no, you, you can't build yourself a new business in that part of town. It's cursed. Everything that builds there goes out of business. Well, are you, you're all griping about rubbish as well. I'll oh, for the love of here, look, have another landfill site. I will build it just about anywhere. There we go, it can go there. There we are. Uh, don't look unhappy, friend. Uh, you know, you're griping about having too much rubbish. I built you a landfill directly across the road. You can go and chuck your bins directly in there. Okay. Right, that'll wrap it up for this time. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. As you can see, there are uh, issues um, that are... Uh, are you know, regularly repeating themselves. I have grown a little bit too fast. And, you know, all of this glamorous infrastructure I've built over here is going to be for now. Why are you out of power? Speak to me, Power Graph. Production 199, consumption 157. What's the problem? Okay, okay. The, the lights are out here. Oh, hello. That's kind of a deal, isn't it? Stay connected. Stay frosty. There we go. Yeah, so I've grown a little bit faster than was perhaps wise. Um, and, uh, you know, and I'm now kind of... Mm, you, you've seen me play stuff before. I've expanded faster than I should have done. Uh, but, you know, that's all right. We'll be back. We'll, it'll be cool. And you'll see how we will bounce back from the teeth of defeat into the glorious future of victory is every one of these now unoccupied my goodness 
Uh, tune in next time and we'll see if we can fix this. Thank you very much for watching today. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, leave a like, leave a subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll catch up with you next time. Cheerio.